Good evening, 47. Your target is Philo Newcomb, a wedding planner whose CV reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. While his job is to make dream weddings a reality, he is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, Newcomb will ingratiate himself with them. Then during the course of his work, he will covertly murder their partner to clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to Newcomb's sanguine love stories. Good luck, 47. Hey guys, welcome back to the Geek Box, and we're doing another Hitman Elusive Target Guide. Also, we're stepping over ourselves again a little bit, but as usual, we're going to start off we're doing the heartbreaker for year three so now we know we're getting another year of hitman targets they've laid out quite a few of them so that's quite exciting to know that we're going to get a lot more opportunities and a lot more chances to do these but we're going to break this down as usual the heartbreaker for year three in mendoza and we're going to do a default loadout which is your standard like we did in the last video with it and we're going to do an alternate version of using tools which is one of my favorites using the emetic suitcase setup i'll explain it for those that haven't done it before that might be new players since it became the world assassination but as i said if we start off with the default loadout now then anyone can do this if you're new to the game you've got all you need to do this obviously i've used my own pistol on that but you can use your standard pistol coin and fiber wire setup for this so starting off we're just going to head to the top of the map and i will say for this first part you'll see why mendoza is a great map for any target if in freelance as well you get a chance to get your target to mendoza to take down for the final showdown it's just the best place to take them as well uh you can head up to the top here as you'll see it's quite hilarious you think it will be seen quite easy but you can take out this guard and just for safety as well i like to take out the guy on the other side as well just drag his body towards the gates it's a little more to the center same thing i will say with this guy as well just make sure the subdues come up because of the angle of him sometimes you press it too quick you will actually punch him in the face instead but that's it grab his outfit you've pretty much now got the ultimate outfit for the entire level um this guy coming here i mean preferably he should be able to see those bodies on the floor but he never actually gets close enough for the game to acknowledge that he sees them so anyhow moving down we're going to head back to where we were when we started but we're going to pivot off to the left uh, this is going to take us into the security area and there we'll be able to find the documents that you need for the mission story and a poison that you'll use as well so you just hop the barrier there's a guard you'll see right in front the enforcer white dot on his head if he's got his back to you like he does here just carry on as long as you're quick he won't spot you if he has started moving just wait for a moment uh, and then carry on the same way so as so we head down now to the party generally if you're around like the just over the one and a half minute mark as you head down they'll be walking into the building you'll see the target is you'll see the checkered top and the white trousers and he's got the two women following him the main thing that would normally stand out is the fact that one of the two women that he's walking with have got like they look like leather trousers the way they've done it the one on the left there so that stands out so he's a bit further in here so using your action button you can quickly give them the document you picked up from the truck earlier uh, i kind of did it as just i was literally running through then carry on straight down and once you come down into the viewing room here there's a glass of wine on the side there that he'll come to drink afterwards the base of the stairs throw a coin either side to distract the text and the guard that you've got down here just then as they turn away it gives you that window you need to drop the poison to this glass and that's the trap set up uh, you can go up and over or i'd prefer to come down here and then just travel through to the right hand side and then make your way to the exit We'll say on a side note, if you want a more classic kill as well, he actually does go drink the drink and then go down those stairs where 
you can pretty much safely fiber wire him and throw him into the box that's there if you want to go for that approach or you need to get the fiber wire achievement for this level but after that we head to the gate and then we wait skipping on so you're not left waiting target eliminated and that's your silent assassin just default loadout kill for the heartbreak year three and then we move on to the next setup which is going to be using the emetic mine in the suitcase trick if you haven't seen it yet i'll explain it as we go and also i'm going to show you the secret exit to the level which is a bit easier to actually use it just simply requires you to have the requiem suit obviously if you got that set for the game or the guru suit if you got the deluxe edition but both those outfits are lock it obviously also we need to take a suitcase with the emetic remote mine inside of it and for those that know this trick they know how cool a trick it is for those that don't we'll explain it in here so starting off the first thing we're going to do is we're going to arm our mine which we're going to do just in here so to do this take the mine out of the suitcase and quickly put it away then place the suitcase on the floor it's the best way i find then conceal the mine in the suitcase you'll hear a bleep and then if you look in your inventory you'll see as well that you've actually got a detonator now so once the detonator is available as an option you know that now the mine is set up so we grab the invite that we have there on the side and then simply we just make our way down here give the invite to get ourselves into the party and then we should find if we head straight to the back we'll pretty much find the target uh, it usually does a loop from the back there loops around to the dance floor and then into the building Obviously, as this version, we're a lot quicker to the floor. He's a lot earlier in his cycle. But now, I'm generally see what I'm waiting back here. I don't want to be too far over there because it could actually send him to a different place to be sick over the edge. But standing next to him, just detonated. You'll see the big green cloud goes up. And that's it. That's the emetic suitcase trick. So, you've pretty much set the trap. He's now going to be sick. He'll come into here because it's the closest bathroom, which again, why it's important not to do it too far out because there's spots where they throw up over the railings and then it's in front of everybody and it's not hidden. But I've just placed that suitcase down there as well. You don't have to do that. I just like to remove guards and things like that when I can anyway, just to be sure because sometimes Hitman will just be Hitman. Uh, and this is great well you'll see now he's gone by to be sick obviously for new players if you're not aware any accident or poison kill is a silent assassin kill regardless even if they find the body so he's in there being sick a moment the other guy's gone in and now we can just safely stroll in and shove his head in the toilet to drown him well like i said if they do find his body before you leave the level as well doesn't matter it's an accident kill doesn't affect your rating at all so now we make our way out now as i mentioned at the start because i'm wearing the requiem suit i have access to the exit that's on the side part now one thing to mention is if you're new to this level you won't be able to use this you do actually need to get the secret exit sorted out uh, for those who don't know there are exits in the game where you find the yellow doors with a cross hash bar on it and you have to have a crowbar to snap the bar off and then you get access forevermore after that to these particular doors and the one you're going to have to pass through in a moment is one of these so in the normal level even if you don't complete the mission just find your way into the manor and reverse this route back to here with a crowbar and you'll be able to ping this door open it makes your life a thousand times easier playing the map from now on see the yellow door there i've just passed by that's the security door but if you have got it open we can just head up through here with the requiem suit or the guru suit obviously be careful here because there is a guard that goes to this area obviously what you've got there this is one of the starting areas as well which is unlockable when you level up quite high on this one i believe it is one of the last things you unlock but yeah we just sneak along the wall with the guard there so there's no need to engage him and then we just exit the mission at the pew so again the guru suit or the requiem suit will give you access to this exit just as you saw it's a hundred times easier the, it's the heartbreaker done for year three both versions silent assassin with equipment or default loadout so i'm hoping this helps you guys out if you haven't done this one before obviously remember you can use it in the arcade mode as well well anyway that's all for this video at the moment i want to say as well thank you just obviously to the sponsor for this video 
Dubby Energy Drinks for a clean energy drink. You can use the code THEGEEKBOX to save 10% on any order, and I'll link it in the video below. But for now, hope you liked the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you need to stay up to date all the latest content, and I'll see you all out there.